Do you also hate every aspect of your own life and really badly want to kill yourself? Well, then this video is going to be for you, because today we're gonna write some BLACK METAL! So welcome to my second video of my series on how to write generic music, where I explore different genres and simultaneously make fun of them while also recreating them with the least amount of effort possible. So last video we made post-hardcore, which is one of the most untrue, fake, poser, not even real metal genres out there. So this time I took one of the most true, if not the truest, true cult genre of all time, which is black metal. So you know what's up, just let's keep it underground, keep it true cult, keep it lo-fi and low effort as always, and just keep calm and hire Satan, burn some churches and get into it. So for black metal there's basically these three main ingredients we need, which is minor thirds for the guitars, blast beats for the drums and these super annoying high-pitched screams for the vocals. And that's basically it. There is no bass. Well, there is a bass, but you can't hear it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just start off with the drums. As I said, we're gonna need some blast beats, which is just place a kick, place a snare, place a right cymbal, Mark all of that, press your duplicate key, press it once more and once more, just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it till the song is over and there you have it, that's your blast beat. And that's the drums. Yeah, sounds awesome. And now I'm going to show you a little mixing trick to make the drums sound super fat and super cool and super black metal also. First off, we're gonna start with compression for the kick drum. And here you really want to make a very a slow attack and, uh, on the kick drum. Fast snare EQ so you is rather complicated as well because you have these, these and, uh, and you always want to make sure that nothing is clipping. Out. So yeah. best result. For reverb, for the snare you get when yeah, you have your mix. So all for the toms, I'm using multi-band um, compression, then which really. Uh, and then in the end, you want to add also to some. So this is what it sounds like. Pretty damn harsh. So I hear you saying that doesn't sound like black metal, though. And you're right because I didn't apply my last step, which is just mark all the mics except for the room mic and just mute them because we're not going to need them and then it should sound like this yep black metal okay now that we have our basic drum beat and also our basic drum sound we're going to compose some guitars so as i said we need some minor thirds and we're going to accompany the rhythm of the drum beat which is just every time we're gonna play every time with the guitar just 16th notes all the way through let's go And for the guitars I want to do another little mixing trick, which is very similar to the one we just did with the drums. So as you can hear when I single out the guitars, they still have a lot of body to it and they are very round and warm and I don't want them to be. So we're just going to go in the guitar amp simulation software I have and we are deactivating the cabinet. And as someone who is into recording guitar with a computer, you just know what this means, right? <laughs> yes, it means we are actually just deactivating the cabinet. No, we are not using impulse responses today. We are just using the raw amplifier sound without a cap because that's fucking black metal. All right, so that's our part one. Let's just keep that as a kind of chorus, I guess. And let's just come up with other parts. And I just wrote down this drum pattern, which is a bit slower, which goes like this. And I'm going to write something black medley for it. Yep, that's part two, I guess. So repeat part one. <laughs> I don't know. Does this sound cool? 
Yeah, why not? Okay, I made another part, another down tempo part with crash symbols, and I'm just repeating the chords from the chorus as power chords in an octave deeper. Uh, oh, why not? Okay, now repeat the chorus again. Okay, after the second chorus, I'm just copy paste all of this again, like two verse parts, if, if you will. And after that, we gonna do some kind of bridge. And for that, we need some acoustic guitars. So in black metal, it's really common to just use a minor chord and just shift it down half steps so it sounds really unsettling and, and you don't have a real scale and we are overall in a minor so i'm going to stick to the a minor sound here Okay, that's cool. That triplet sound is a good middle crown in terms of the speed. Okay, cool. We have some kind of intro. I added some very basic drums to the uh, acoustic guitars. Let's add some power chord electric guitars. Okay, and after that, I want to go again full double bass before we, you know, head back into the blast beats. Okay, let's keep the triplet groove and record some triplet electric guitars. And record a lead guitar with some <laughs> terrible lead tones. Okay, after this first bridge part, there comes this one bar break. And then we are right back into the chorus. And after that, I don't know, maybe just do the verse again. And then another bridge part with another um, clean chord progression melody and this leads into this big building up outro part that's what i am imagining right now so let's just fade out some a minor chords i want to use a different key for the outro probably e and let's come up with another clean guitar melody okay i think i have something So that's the intro to the, basically the intro to the outro. Let's add some cool Tom shots. So for the next part, we gonna need at least some double bass again. So I don't know, open high hat again, probably. And let's add some rhythm guitars here as well. As I said, we're going to just make this more intense every time it repeats. So first we have just the guitars, then we have these. Then we have... Okay, so what the drums do next is clear. They will change from open hi-hat to crash cymbal and also speed up the snare. Just like this. And the guitars are going full sixteenths again. Noise! So the final part of the outro will be, of course, again, blast beats. So let's just, yeah, basically copy the standard blast beat from the chorus. 
and also copy these guitars and these guitars and just add the lead guitar. Okay, cool. <laughs> and now just add an... I don't know, what, what is a good outro for a black metal song? It's it's a fade out, right? Just repeat it three, two more times and let it fade out and call it a day. So yeah, basically two hours of composing the black metal song is done <laughs> so far. Uh, I'm just going to track some bass, even though you're not really gonna hear it. Yo, copy paste this forever. So I'm now finished with the bass. So for the vocals, I already said that we're gonna need this annoying hype pitched screaming sound and what we also need is some not that good microphone quality so i have this friend who is really into black metal i know him from school we played in a band together like 10 years ago and he did some black metal solo project stuff very early on and i know the story where he tried to record some vocals but he didn't have a microphone so he just used the mic of his gaming headset and recorded his screams with that listened back to it in audacity which is like the most free of all the free dhws you can get and then he decided mm, doesn't really sound like black metal it, it doesn't sound like underground enough so he went back and re-recorded his vocals using the microphone of his early 2000s mp3 player and this is basically the spirit i'm trying to capture here so i'm not gonna use my microphone to record my vocals but the cheapest and worst sounding mic I have, I have a microphone on my webcam, which sounds really bad. I guess I'm just going to record my vocals with the webcam mic because it actually spares me some time so I don't have to manually make it sound bad afterwards in the mix so it sounds bad right from the start and that's what we want. All right, so I just changed to my USB camera for the uh, input signal and it sounds horrible, just as I intended. So let's record some more test vocals. I need to use headphones for this because the webcam mic is taking too much sound out of the whole room and it's standing right on top of my speaker which isn't the best placement for a microphone so I have to deactivate the speakers and use headphones instead. And for the lyrics itself it's gonna be something about worshipping Satan and sacrificing the blood of virgins and burning churches and and it wouldn't be black metal without some good old-fashioned nazi language so we're gonna use a few terms don't make it too obvious because obviously we are not nazis we're it's just complete coincidence that our band logo looks like an ss division emblem so yeah it's just it's just the aesthetic i guess like the black and white stuff and these cool german words from that time period which have nothing to do at all with the ideology so yeah let's stick to that spirit and wouldn't be black metal without it being at least a bit problematic <laughs> okay i'm gonna write some lyrics down and then see you back when i record the vocals yes <laughs> I'm literally just going to keep every single take. <laughs> I'm not re recording anything here because it sucks and it's supposed to suck. So let's keep going.
So for the lyrics so far, we have basically this uh, satanic god of wrath coming down to earth and purging mankind thing. For the bridge, I think we are going to get a bit more personal here. I want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? And my suffering, the sweet relief of death awaits. That sounds black metal to me. This life is rotten to the core. And my suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> And for the third chorus, I'm just going to copy-paste the first chorus. What I also don't like is the drums here. I think the cymbals, that's just, that's just not black metal enough. Uh, with the crash cymbal, I want to have the right bell. Let's, let's take a right, right bell, but make it eighths instead of fours. See what it sounds like. <coughs> Yeah, sounds much more black metalish. And now for the second bridge slash outro part. I think I'm just going to shout some uh, single words in there. Solitude, isolation, oh, damnation. That rhymes with isolation. Torment, yeah. Yeah, let's just go for it. Solitude! Isolation! Works completely fine. <laughs> Pointless existence! Brought to a halt! Serving the ungod by the last strip of blood! And let's just repeat that like a mantra or the last parts because they repeat as well. And yep, that's it, we're done. Yeah, so that was quite a lot of lyrics actually for the song, but they just came to my mind. And as I said, I'm just fulfilling stereotypes here. Okay, let's add the final lead guitar. I just heard it in my head. Lead two, and then we can call it a day and go into the mix. And and as in my last video, I'm going to do the mix off camera, and then after that, telling you a bit of what I've done and what I've changed. Let's record that last guitar, and then we're finished. <laughs> Okay, let's do the complete reverb trick again. Yes, that's kind of what I was aiming for. So I'm now done with the mix and to be honest, there's not really much I can tell you about it other than that I went in with the wrong mindset kind of because I went in and thought like, how do I make this sound bad on purpose? And then I started tweaking around some EQs and making some moves I usually wouldn't do. And in the end it sounded bad, but it didn't sound like black metals. So I quickly realized that that was just the wrong approach. And so yeah, if you think about it, imagine being this angsty Norwegian kid sitting in the forest and composing his black metal solo project, he's probably not thinking how do I deliberately make this sound shitty, right? He's probably thinking more like what the fuck's an EQ and how do I use the thing and then he probably ends up with not using it at all and, and that's kind of what I ended up doing is just keeping the bare minimum of effects in there and just keeping it minimalistic and doing just the really basic moves to convey this raw and untouched sound. So if you take a look here in the project, you can see these are my mixing channels and there's really not much going on here, right? Especially if you compare that with the post-hardcore project from last month. These are the channels in that project. It's like five times as much or so. And also with the whole automatization and the whole tracks, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of little details. And I completely just didn't do that with the black metal track to really keep it that simple and 
keep it yeah raw and untouched and unprocessed so the only thing with automation i did is literally just lowering the bass volume at this point and like this is the overall master fade out at the end so basically no automatization at all also i didn't really add any more instruments also not recording any backing vocals whatsoever and looking in the mix as i said you can see i just did the absolute bare minimum just getting rid of some nasty frequencies here with the webcam mic you can see the even the clean guitars they don't even have an amp right they just it's just a bit of reverb and an eq to round that off a bit so it doesn't sound too present so in the end everything sounds kind of muffled and muddy and a bit distant and i also completely didn't master anything so just put a limiter on here so it doesn't clip and that's basically it so that's it for this one if you like what i'm doing consider subscribing and stick around because there will be more generic music coming your way in the next time and now i'm going to show you the whole song and again i did a little music video on this so enjoy the video and see you in the next one
Yeah.